Cause I, I, I'm in the stars tonight So watch me bring the fire and set the night alight Shining through the city with a little funk and soul So I'ma light it up like dynamite Hi boys and girls! How long have you been there? I'm sorry that you have to listen to that. By the way, do you know who are these guys? They are the BTS members, one of the phenomenal K-pop idols to date. I've got a question for you. If you were given a chance, how would you describe these idols? Let's take these two members, for example, Taeyong and Jungkook. I'm very sure that most of you might say that Taeyong is handsome, energetic, talented, and wealthy. On top of all, he is also a Korean. How about Jungkook? Me, 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 let me try. Oh, Grand Wiz, there you are. I thought you couldn't make it for today's episode. Well, anything for you, Mr. D. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I surely have some time for BTS. <laughs> All right. By the way, Jungkook is adorable, competitive, funny, and kind. He also has a funny smile and a pair of doe eyes. Wow. Wow. These are pretty detailed, right, Mr. D? It is, and with all those detailed explanation, I'm pretty sure you are his fan. Of course, Mr. D. I can't live a day without gazing into his doe eyes. <sighs> oh boy, looks like our grandmas, Grand Wiz, is love struck. Either way, boys and girls, handsome, energetic, talented, wealthy, adorable, competitive, funny kind and Korean are all words used to describe a person. By the way, Mr. D, mm -hmm. why are you asking us to describe these idols? Are we learning about adjectives today by any chance? We surely do. <gasps> mm, really? Spot on. So, my dear boys and girls, today we are going to learn about adjectives. Before we go on further, Adjectives are words that are used to name the attributes or characteristics of people, thing, animal, or even place. So, Granwis, are you aware of the different functions of adjectives in English language? Mm, I definitely do, Mr. D. Adjectives can be used to tell more about colors, size, shape, taste, order, Texture, number, weather, origin, opinion, quality, feelings, and personalities. Oh yes, Mr. D and friends out there, one more important fact on adjective is that it is commonly being placed before a noun. That's why we normally heard people say, old oh, man, instead of man old. Hmm. Thank you, Grand Wiz. You're that welcome. is such an important piece of information you have there. Mm -hmm. mm, enough with the explanation on the matter. Grand Wiz, mm -hmm. mm, let's have a little bit of fun. Ooh. Yeah, by playing a simple game. A game? Okay. Definitely. <laughs> right. mm, let's call this game as a match made in heaven. Wow, Mr. D, what a fancy name. Exactly, right. So, just as the name suggests, this is a matching game. All of you boys and girls have to do is to match all these adjectives according to its category. The categories are opinion, size, quality, age, shape, color, origin and material. Since we are going to test your wits, we are going to let you try this on your own. What are you waiting for, boys and girls? Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and good luck!
done, my dear friends? Shall we go through the answers together? The first category is colour. Which of these words belong to this category? You're right, friends. The answers are black, blue and pink. What about size? Are there any words that should be in this category? Of course, Grandwiz. Big, huge and little are all words that show size. Look at these words. Malaysian, Korean and Thai. What do they have in common? Ooh, let me try, Mr. D. They're all words that show origin. Well done, Grandwiz. You're definitely right. What do you think of these words? Hmm, uh, let's see. Um, oval, round and square mm -hmm. are words associated to shape, Correct. while young and ancient are words that belong to the age category. Am I right, Mr. D? Um, spectacular! Yes! Now, I understand that you are starting to be called Grand Wiz for no reason. Now, we have a few more words left. Since opinions are words that show attitude or observation, delicious, lovely and nice would be perfect for this category. Material, on the other hand, explains what something is made of. Therefore, wooden, plastic and paper belong to this category. Which leaves thin, thick and smooth to be in the quality category as they tell us more about the condition and the state of something. Well done, Grandwis. <laughs> and well done, my dear boys and girls. Do you know that we could always use more than one adjective at once to describe nouns? Oh, I know that it's um um oscascom. Opinion, size, quality, age, shape, colour, origin, material, and then noun. Excellent, Grandwiz. Yes. Because we could use more than one adjective at once, we have to follow the correct order of the adjectives. So just remember oscascom. Let's try out this formula by describing this doll using all of these words. So, we have antique, paper, lovely, slim, red, tall, beautiful and Malaysian. As I told you before, noun must be placed after the adjectives. So, let's keep the word doll at the end of the phrase. Okay, to arrange them accordingly, let's categorize each of these words in a table. What a good idea, Grandwis. First, let's keep the formula at the top of this step. Why not we say it together, Grandwis? Ready? Yes. One, two, three. Oscarscom! Wonderful. So, lovely is an opinion. Therefore, it gets to be placed first, followed by tall, which shows size. Then, we have beautiful to show quality and antique to show the age. But we are not done yet. After the word antique, we should add the word slim to show the shape, red to show the colour, Malaysian to show the origin and finally paper to show material. So now we have lovely, tall, beautiful, antique, slim, red and Malaysian paper doll. Isn't it lengthy? But to be honest, you could hardly see any phrase with this much adjectives in it. Normally, we would have up to three to four adjectives at tops to describe a noun. Regardless, this is the right order of adjectives. I just remembered. Um... Just remember what? The formula. Yes. One, two, three. Oscarscom. Did you hear that, Grandwis? Um, I think I, I did, Mr. D. Oh, it's finally time for our challenge. So, can I please tell them about our challenge, Mr. D? Uh, well, the stage is yours. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, boys and girls. 
today's challenge is very simple. Firstly, we will show a series of words for each of the pictures shown. Then, you will need to arrange the adjectives according to the right order to describe the picture. Simple, right? But, remember to complete the mission before the boom goes boom! It's fun fact time! According to Oxford English Dictionary, these are the top 25 commonly used adjectives. Good, new, first, last, long, great, little, own, other, old. Right, big, high, different, small, large, next. Early, young, important, few, public, bad, same, and able. able. Do you agree with this list? Granwis, look at its two K pop idols, Tae Young and Chungko. Who do you think is more handsome? <sighs> Well, if you ask me, of course, mm -hmm. I think Jungkook is the more handsome than Taeyang. I see. Who do you think is smarter then? Oh, that's easy. Of course, Jungkook is smarter than Taeyang. You know what? I think I should just stop asking you to compare these two idols because in the end, you will always choose your favorite bias, aren't of you? Of course. All right. So, moving on. I can't help it. He's my favorite among other BTS members, Miss D. That is why. Are we still on this? Well, 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 well. I'm only asking you this because I want to share with all of you viewers out there that we can always use adjectives to compare people, places, things, or even animals. But to do so, there are a few rules that we need to follow. Oh, now that you mention it, it is true. Shall we um, share this with my friends who are watching us now? Sure, go ahead. First and foremost, you have to understand that there are two ways to compare one's attributes. The first one is when we describe one person or one thing or one animal or one place with another one. We call this as comparative adjective. However, when we compare one person, or one thing, or one animal, or one place with the majority of something, someone, some animals, or some places, we have to use the superlative adjectives. I think it is a bit confusing, Mr. D. Mm -hmm. um, shall we make it simpler for our viewers to understand? Mm, sure. Let's go back to one of our K-pop idols earlier, Taeyang. If I want to compare Taeyang 
with just say one member of BTS group. Hmm, Chunko. I have to say, Taeyong is cuter than Chunko. See, the adjective cute has been changed to cuter. On top of that, we also add the word then before the noun. This is comparative adjective. However, if I want to compare Taeyong with all of the other BTS members, I should say Taeyong is the cutest among all of the BTS members. Not only that I added ST to the word cute, I also added the before it. This is superlative adjective. Now it's getting a bit clearer. Earlier, mm -hmm. um, you did mention about rules of using comparative and superlative adjectives. What are they, Mr. D? Well, Graham Wiz, before I continue on, I have to warn you that there are a few rules in using comparative and superlative adjectives. But I assure you that they are a lot easier than it sounds. Firstly, for one syllable adjective like fast and young, we just have to add ER to the adjective, followed by then. For example, I am faster than Ali. Fatima is younger than Jackie. However, if you are trying to say that Jackie beats everyone in a race, you can say Jackie is the fastest runner in class. By the way, you must be wondering how to find out if the word is a one-syllable word, right? Yeah. Simple, just clap. If you can clap once when pronouncing the word, it means that it is a single syllable word, just like fast and young. That's interesting, Mr. D. Speaking of one syllable word, hmm, I just remembered something. What um, is it? My English teacher mm -hmm. used to tell me that for one syllable adjective that ends with the letter E, for example, nice and strange, we only need to add R at the end of the adjective. Is this true, Mr. D? Well, definitely. Ah. So, if you are comparing only with another person, place or thing, you can say he is nicer than his sister or that place is stranger than the other place. Let me guess. As for superlative, it will be he is the nicest among his siblings. Mm -hmm. And that place is the strangest restaurant in this town. Am I right? Mm, yeah. Another one point to Gravis. But please remember that if a single syllable adjective has a short vowel and a consonant, say, big and hot, you need to make sure to double the final letter for both comparative and superlative forms. So you'll have to say, I am bigger than you for comparative and I am the biggest in my class for superlative. Oh, Mr. D, mm -hmm. I think we need some time to digest everything that we have just learned. Okay. Shall we take a breather? Yeah. Perhaps play another game? Yeah. Yeah, Maybe sure. Not. Why not? Let's practice to form sentences using comparative and superlative for single syllable adjectives. Interesting. So how should we play this game, Mr. D? Mm, easy. First, we will spin this wheel with adjectives mm -hmm. on it. Okay. This, this spin will identify the adjectives which you need to use in your sentence. Mm -hmm. And then, check out the light boxes on top to find out if you'll be writing in comparative or superlative form. Ah. Like this. Since our first spin lands on the word big and our light box indicates comparatives. So here's my sentence. Aisha's dad has a bigger car than Kasim's dad. Why not you take a spin now? Shall we continue with our next rule? Since we have covered single syllable adjectives, why not we take a look at words with two syllables or more? 
For this, there are two different scenarios that we should consider. The first one is that when we have two or more syllables which end with the letter Y, we should first change the letter Y with I and then add ER followed by the word THEN. For example, Momo is happier than Mimi today or Momo is the happiest student in five amana for superlative sentence. Piece of cake, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And boys and girls, also remember that for other words with two or more syllables, we need to add more in front of the adjective for comparative sentence. And most of superlative sentence, for example, he is more handsome than my cousin for comparative sentence, and he is the most handsome guy in this university for superlative sentence. Besides these rules, there are also some words which do not follow all of the discussed rules. They are called the irregular adjectives. For these adjectives, you have no choice but to memorize them by heart. And they are good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, little, less, least, and far, further, furthest. <sighs> what a long day. I need to entertain myself for a bit, Mr. D. All right. I have the perfect song for my friends out there to sing. Really? Yeah. Worry not. The song is about comparison adjectives. Perfect for today's lesson. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds fine by me, but to make it more interesting, why not let our viewers complete a task mm -hmm. as they listen to the song? Yeah. So, boys and girls, as to listen to the song that we are about to play for you, kindly complete the exercise that goes with the song by typing this link below. The exercise should look like this. Once you are done, you can submit your answer to your teacher's email address. Found the link to the exercise yet? Remember to fill in the blanks with the words heard from the song. An elephant is bigger than a flea. I said an elephant is bigger than a flea. An elephant is stronger. An elephant lives longer. An elephant is bigger than a flea. An elephant is better than a flea. Why? Because an elephant is easier to see in the dark. An elephant is bigger, much, much bigger. An elephant is bigger than a flea. A crocodile is bigger than a fly. I said a crocodile is bigger than a fly. A crocodile is stronger. A crocodile lives longer. A crocodile is longer than a fly. A crocodile is better than a fly. Why? Because a crocodile can smile and he can cry. A crocodile is better. He can even need sweater. A crocodile is better than a fly. A crocodile is better than a fly. Why? Because a crocodile can smile and he can cry. A crocodile is better. He can even need sweater. A crocodile is better than a fly. Here are the answers to the questions. That was such a cool song. Yes. Looks like we have come to the end of our lesson for today. Aww. Always remember that we need adjectives to tell us more about nouns. And for this week's mega challenge, Grandwitz, will you do the honor of surprising them with the news? Of course, Mr. D. Well, boys and girls, for this week's mega challenge, we would be happy to challenge you to create a TikTok video. Wow, TikTok. Yes, so all you have to do is you have to use green screen effect and you have to choose, okay, the individuals, places, things, or animals and describe more about them. You may use OSCASCOM formula to help you out. As always, make sure you get permission from your parents to do this. Also, you may share with us the final product of your work on any social media platform such as Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok by using this hashtag. Shall we do it together? Yes. One, two, go. Hashtag GrammyWrite. Hashtag GrammyWiz. Hashtag Grammar Made Easy. That will be all for now. 
See you later, alligator. Later. <laughs>